How's everybody doing? I'm going to make another tutorial. And this one's on compiling OpenWRT. And we're going to be building. Well, I'm going to show you how to set up a build environment and how to get started. And this was uh, back two or three years ago when I started. I was looking around on YouTube and other places and nobody on YouTube had anything uh, like this to help people like me out. I was wanting to uh, compile firmware. And everybody's not compiling firmware, but I wanted to learn how. And they were some build guides out there, and but you know, they left a lot of questions. And I looked around and I found one build guide that really, you know, build guide for OpenWRT that really helped me out. And I was wanting to get into building DDWRT, but uh, the DDWRT really doesn't have uh, things set up for people like me wanting to learn how. Either you know how, come and get this right here and start building it. Uh, open WRT starts on the ground floor and builds you up where you can start making your own firmware and that's what I like about open WRT and uh, so that's what I did I got to read and read and read and read and then finally I got enough information in my head and one of the best guides I had to use was this one right here now this one right here is on the power base uh, www.thepowerbase.com and this right here is an excellent guide uh, open WRT build guide start to finish and it's really wrote really good it's wrote by this guy right here uh, Tom Nardi Tom Nardi done a good job in this three sections All right, here's the second one and I really advise y'all to go here and download this and read it it would really help you guys out if you guys want to get into compiling uh, your own firmware with uh, open WRT uh, download this print it and read it it's wrote really really good and he gives you all the points even though it's wrote around 2012 and he sets you up with uh, trunk but now it's 2015 and we're up to barrier breaker and that's what I'm going to be putting on and a lot of stuff on this right here it really give you help give you some knowledge in your head on how to do some stuff okay I'm gonna try to make this quick and easy as possible now these right here are just some commands that uh, I'm gonna put this in the comment section if, if you want to give it a try uh, these right here just 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 some of the commands I put put up right here to get started with. First thing we got to do is open up terminal. Now let's talk about the Linux operating system. Back when I first got started, I think they just come out with 14. Then it came, I think, 14.04. And it had bugs in it, and it's, and I got to reading up on when you compile OpenWRT with 14.04 uh, Ubuntu that it had a bug, a problem, and uh, so I didn't like. It. Also, you know, on the side right here, the uh, 
Firefox bug would get hung. I mean, Firefox button would get hung, and it wouldn't bring it up or bring it down. And I believe it it still doesn't. They ain't worked that out of it. But this copy right here is 15.04. But I got to reading. Everybody had super super success with Ubuntu 10.04. And that's the one I got, and it does work perfect. All the successful builds that I have did, I did with Ubuntu 10.04. and But that was going on two years ago or more. I, and I looked around, it's getting sort of hard to find. You might be able to find it in a torrent, but I uh, did all my builds with uh, Ubuntu 10.04. You can also use the red the red hat. After it updates and everything, all of a sudden it turns into Cent OS or CentOS Cent OS. But you know, on the commands on the uh, terminal, you have to use yum. Uh, OpenWRT they recommend using DBAN. And if you want to use DBAN, that'd be you know okie dokie with me. But I loaded up DBAN and I used CentOS and then I loaded and tried Ubuntu and I liked Ubuntu and that's what I use I use a uh, Ubuntu and the only reason I'm not using 10.04 now and I'm using the 15.04 is because I couldn't find a screen recorder that would work with 10.04 and it's uh, 10.04 is getting older and they just come out with the 15.04 and I ain't heard nothing on it yet so I downloaded it, loaded it up, got a screensaver on it and I'm just gonna go real quick and show y'all how to get set up for a build environment so y'all can start compiling your own OpenWRT firmware for your router okay let's get started uh, if y'all if y'all ever mess with the Linux operating system y'all probably heard about terminal and this right here is a terminal and these right here are the commands right here these right here are just basic commands to get things started right here First, you'll be needing build essentials. I already put them in. Build essentials, just swipe it, copy it, and paste it. And it would just want, you know, the first thing's going to pop up is want your password. And it didn't like my password. Let me try it again. There it goes. And I already put it in. It says right here is already the newest version. I already got that installed. If you already got it installed, that's what I was going to tell you. You already got the newest version, and and and, and I just told you. Also, uh, you need to get this uh, app get installed. Get G the GIT. You'll be needing the GIT, and just right copy. I mean, right click it, copy, and paste it into the terminal. Hit enter. And there you go, you got it. Well, you already got it installed, and uh, it's already the newest version. So I already got that in there. This right here is the main one right here. This right here is going to be coming from the OpenWRT site repository. This is uh, openrt.org slash 14.07, openwrt.get. This is Barrier Breaker right here. Right click, copy it, and paste. Press Enter. And there it goes. It's downloading it from the open WRT site and I'm downloading it well, I was downloading 370 well 348 347 kilobytes a second which ain't 
too awful bad. And now, <clears throat> download. I'm just going to have to give it a little time. But really, y'all need to go to uh, the power base and uh, get this uh, Tom Nerdy's build guide. It's really got some super good information on it, and that's what I use. You you can get uh, build guides from OpenWRT site and other places, but this right here is one is wrote real good, and it, it'll really help you out. It will really help you out. Okay. All right. That's done. That's done. Okay. Okay. Done. 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 Okay. Everything's done. Now, let's take a look at what we downloaded. Right there it is. This is the open of open WRT this uh that we downloaded. This is fourteen point seven. This is barrier breaker. Okay, this right here is the feed con F default. This is a very important one. This is where you where you get all your feeds from from the repositories. And you got to update it. And this right here is the the SRC dash get packages. And uh, this right here is to Lucy. Now, on the older ones like Trunk, uh, they made the new ones a lot easier. They went ahead and put Lucy in there, but the older ones you had to separately put Lucy in there, which made it a big hassle. And I like Lucy uh, in mine. Uh, a lot of other people, it doesn't bother them not to have Lucy. They could do it through the UCI. And uh, there, you know, but I like to use Lucy. And uh, the first six, one, two, three, four, five, six. The first pick, first six packages is really all you need to, get, to build you some, you know, what firmware you want to use for your router. Uh, this right here is, is the main one, old packages right here. That that that's coming from the, you know, the older copies management and telephony and routing and Lucy and these uh, other packages right here it, I'm going to update and then I'm going to install it's right here is where it's going to get all the packages from from these repositories right here now you see this pound mark when uh, you start updating it sees this pound mark right here it's just going to jump over and it's not going to install it it ain't going to stall this XWRT or this phone or this EFL or, these, or this custom down here, custom feed. Uh, but if you want it, just click on it, delete it, and it'll install it. But I don't want it. I don't, you know, this. if you take the pound mark away from all these right here, it loads everything up. It's going to be, oh, oh my goodness, you wouldn't believe the packages. Well, OpenWRT is just not for routers. It's for any uh, embedded device that, 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 that say they got support for. Not just routers, other things. And if, if you take all this and it loads everything, you will have a, a mountain of packages to look at. And then you'd be scratching your head saying, Look at all these packages. What am I going to do with them? And also, this is just the beginning. What I'm going to do is just the beginning. I've, I've, I've been uh, compiling firmware and getting it to work, and I've been putting it together pretty much the same way. And there, a lot of these packages, you have to uh, Google, read about, fi and just find out what they are. Okay, this, 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 that's it. I'm just, I'm just going to leave it just like it is right there. Uh, exit out. Uh, close without saving. That's good. Let's open it up again. Be sure everything looks good. Yeah. Okay, that looks good. Old packages. That's the main one. I'm old packages management. I don't 
don't really want that telephony in there, but I'm, I'm but I'm gonna leave it in there. The main ones want old package management. Lucy, this first package is up here. Okay, that looks good. Let's continue. Also, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and close this. When you run terminal, you got to run it in the folder that it's going to be working out of. And uh, right here, I'm going to be working out of this open WRT folder. So you right click it and you open in terminal. And if you look at the address right there on it, and uh, right there, open in terminal. They started. They started. They're doing it Windows 7 too. I can't. You hit the top. It automatically expand. You know, like you want to do that. They done it on this one too. I don't like it on Windows 7, and don't like it on this one. If I accidentally put it up there, it's gonna uh, blow up. Boom. It just, and uh, I turned it off on the, the computer. I got Windows 7 on, but you know, XP doesn't do that. Okay. All right. Let's continue. Uh, now we're going to update the script feeds. Alright, this right here is the first one you want to do. This updates the feeds. Copy and paste. And be sure that you're in slash open w in your in, in the right folder. Because if you ain't if you're not opening that folder where you know uh, you're working out of and you, you want to update it ain't going to update it and there it goes this is update updating the packages Maybe give it some time bit more time. And this right here, I think, is a bug. It ain't, it ain't gave me my prompt back. I just click into it or right click into it. It ain't gave me my prompt back yet. I'm saying everything's done. I, st I, I like my 10.04. Oh, there it is. It finally gave it back to me. I reckon it just wasn't done, done yet. Okay, there's my prompt. Now, next thing you do is we install the updates. All these updates has got to be installed. And this is the command that installs them. Okay, let's 
just install them. There to go. Installing packages. Installing package. Installing. Oh, look at all them packages. Install, install. And that was quick. Okie dokie. Now, this, now these commands is to make clean. And this right here is to make the directory clean. And this right here is the DST DSTC clean or dist clean. Well, this right here nukes everything. This directory 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 clean, and it, this right here is the uh, dist clean. I think that word. I don't know exactly what that means. D I S T dist clean, or or is it the disk clean? Dist clean. But it, this nukes everything. Yeah, uh, this this just makes a general clean. This makes a directory clean, and this nukes everything right here. When you do this, you have to update the script feeds, uh, install the feeds. You you know you have to do that again. This right here just cleans everything up. And every time I make su a successful build, if I switch over to a different route, I want to build something for it. I clean it up. I clean it up. Okay, well I ain't built nothing on it yet. Now let's see if ever if I did everything right. Give this command right here called make menu config. Make menu config. If if, if I did everything right, then my menu configure is going to pop up. Now it's got to collect all the packages. We're almost there. Packages. Oh yeah, this is a, a time-consuming uh, adventure. When you start uh, compiling firmware, it it it'll burn the clock up. And right there we are. This is the config right here. It's config right here. This is OpenWRT configuration config. And this right here is where you choose all your packages that you're going to be using. First one is, well, if you got a router, you're going to have to do some research on it. You're going to find out what kind of chip you, chipset you got. You know, is is it the uh, Theros? You know, or is it Broadcom? You know, let's and uh, pick out which which one it is. Click enter. And just go down the line. And it's generic. Yeah, it looks good. And just, you know, like, oh, this right here. Target image. Squash. That's right. Just leave it on squash. Okay, target profile. Now, this right here is, you know, the, this right here is where you look at what router you got. Like if you got uh, D links, these right here, you know, all the profiles for the D links. And if you go on down, 
was like I got two or three different brands of TP links. And right here, uh, the T U T P. Th this right here is like the firmware is basically alike for the uh, WDR3500, WDR3600, and I got two 4300s. And hit select on it. Well, well you hit the uh, Select it, and uh, that's a target image. Already done that one. Global build. Usually, I don't mess with these settings right here. I usually leave them alone. And these right here is just for the uh, developers themselves. And then you just go on down the line, on down the line. Done the base system is is pretty big one. I do go in this, and I want like want block mount. But what it is, this is up. I'm gonna tell you just like Nardi, uh, Tom uh, Nardi says, you choose wisely. And if you don't know what a package is, uh, Google it. You Google it and find out what it is if you want or not. Because uh, if you choose too many, you'll run out of you run out of memory. And a lot of times if you run out of memory, it's not even going to give you a squash file. If you go over so much, I have built packages. I said, where's, where's my firmware? My firmware's not in, not even in there. And I figured out I had to remove about ten, six or seven packages to get the uh, size down before it would even show up in the bin folder. Because once you compile it all, it'll make a bin folder, and that's where it'll, it'll put your firmware. And you can just you know like look at all these packages, and and all these right here. If it's got the star right there, that means it's going to be included. I mean, it's like uh, this right here is the Lucy, and uh, kernel module. That's a big right because this right here is just all kinds of stuff. Like this right here is that's a, you know. If you if you don't know what they are, if you don't think if you if if just look them up and find out what they are. Cause this right here takes time. It's you know, this is like a hobby with me. And the LEDs, uh, libraries, libraries are very, very important. Uh, USB. So if you want USC, USB support, you click on it and and and, and find out which ones you, you know. Like USB storage. This is a very important one. And uh, USB storage extras. And uh, hit exit. And you know, video support, there, there really ain't, you know, this right here has got to be for other embedded files. It's got to be. I don't know 100% what it is, uh, but I don't know any router's got a video card. And also, voice, you know, for other, and there's wireless drivers which pick stuff up. Also, uh, you need to study what router you got, what chipset you got, and if the, if it's got support in it, uh, then you need to click onto it and give it that support. Uh, and after you made all your uh, choices, and you think you got it the way you want it, you click save, click OK, click exit, click exit again. And click exit. And then right here is, is make slash J3. Uh, this right here is the make command. Make slash J. You could just put make down there, but if you got a multi core processor and if you just put make there, it's only going to use one, one of your cores in your processor. I got a dual core. And you just Right, make slash J. If you got two, add one. So mine is make slash J three. If you got four core processor, you uh, write down make slash J five, and just right click it and copy and paste that in there and hit enter. And now. Is compiling. There it goes. It's compiling. Hit 
it's, it's doing this thing it is now making now it, it could take 20 minutes to an hour and a half depend on what you got how fast your computer is and all you got well you're gonna have to sit back and also when you get done now if you build some firmware and you test it out on your router and it works and you like it and say hey this firmware is 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 working real good and I like it and uh, what you do is you uh, go to where it is you open it up the open WRT folder and you look around there and you don't see your config file well your config file is hidden okay now this one right here Okay, I'm going to have to go in here and figure out how to say, how to show hidden files. I just put this on here, this 15.04, uh, tens over here got a drop down window and it says right on it, show hidden files. This one right here, don't, all files. Okay, I reckon that's what I get when I throw an operating system on there and I'm not quite used to it. Wait a second, what's this? No, oh, that's not it. What it is, it's a hidden folder. I mean, yeah, I mean it's a hidden file. this thing show me that's just uh I reckon that there, there, there's a way to do it I just don't know how to do it yet I ain't planning on using uh this 15.04 anyhow just soon as I get done making this tutorial I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna put XP back on this computer and I'm gonna bring my uh, Linux box back over here it's got 10.04 on it which I can deal with super good. I mean, I can, I can, I can deal with it. But this 15, and also the 14.04, uh, they got quirks. And I tried 14 uh, on there, and it's not really, really what I'm looking for. But the 10s per. If you could find 10, Ubuntu 10.04, I think you would enjoy it a whole lot better. But what on this one right here? Uh, I'm just I'm just not tickled with it. No, I'm not tickled with it at all. you know the, the it, it is uh definitely changing size permission I'll just check the permission access create delete files local change from no 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 well what it is in this folder right here you got a hidden file called uh config dot no it's dot config and what it is, you save that file. You 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 make a folder somewhere, and uh, figure out how to show the hidden folders. And you take that .dot config out of there, and you save it. 
because if you want if you if you like that that build and you, all of a sudden you might want to tweak it or add some more USB support you just take it uh, out of the file drop it right back in here hit menu config and you're you're right back where you was with it and then you could tweak it and save it again and then you, you save that uh, dot config on uh, okay folks that's that's it uh, that's enough for me I'm gonna close everything out and I'm gonna get ready to get rid of this 15 point zero uh, thing well like I said the only reason I'm using this instead of 10 is I, I couldn't get a screen recorder to uh, work with 10 Okay, folks, I hope you learned something from it, and that's it. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, and...